Okay, so she had some time to dry, and she's much more solid now. Um, I think because I want to light the ship, I was thinking about different ways that we could go about doing it. This is my plan. I had actually planned to use the, um, the lighting tape, the LED tape. You can see, this is what the LED, the LED tape looks like. The problem that we're having is that the size of the model isn't that big. It does have the slots, but let me get it at a good area or a good view. See, these don't quite fit. Um, we can trim them down to pass them through, but I want to make sure that that's not going to affect the, um, the function of the lights. It does look like we could have maybe a sixteenth of an inch on either side, and that could run it through, or we could run it through for the, um, the cannon holes or the port holes. Because when it comes to the ship, there's going to be, let's see, you got three levels um, just before we get to the planking. And with this model, I believe we're only going to be doing one level or one um, level of planking. Let's see. There's going to be another set of windows that's going to go along the, uh, the upper deck section. So I think what we're going to do now is... I want to think about, because there are windows that are going to go all the way the length of the ship. And I'm going to want to make sure that everyone is going to be lit. The interior of the actual ship, um, the inside is like a, like a white, an off-white color. Probably because, you know, for the natural light to, to reflect and make it a little bit lighter inside. So, my plan was originally to go ahead and um, stain this part of the ship with the keel and make it all um, the espresso stain, but I think we're going to hold off on that. Um, you can see how we're going to put, and this is where you got to pay attention to these uh, instructions. Because when I first looked at it, I'm like, okay, we put these on, but then we got to pay attention because there's a deck that goes underneath, which would be 33, and you can see we have to put the uh, the cargo grills on, or the cargo hatches, because there's like a well, uh, a deck well. So I think what I want to do is I want to get the deck and we're gonna fit it into place and I'm gonna see as we go along the best route to uh, put the light strips in. So let's put the LED tape aside for a moment and we'll get the decks out. All right, so we got two sheets. Well, let's use this one first because it's got the bottom deck on it. So, we need part number 33. And as you can see, this is part number 33. Let's just go ahead. I'm going to get it off the tree now. Um, we might not have to cut this. Yeah, this is coming off pretty simply. And just like that, we have the deck off. And you can see the back part. And this is the side that I was telling you. So this is gonna go on the side, and that's gonna go back. And then we'll have one more strip with the, the cannon ports of the windows, and then we'll start the, uh, the planking. Like I said, there's only enough planking for one um, application so let's put this aside okay so the parts that are going to be visible so I gotta figure out how we're gonna do this this is gonna go in hmm. 
so deck 33 is this section right here. This has to go in the bottom. And you can see the structures we're going to put on. And then eventually, we're going to put another um, two decks on top. But we got to get this deck inside the bulkheads. I'm having a hard time understanding how they did that. Okay, to give you guys an update on this, I have a couple of revelations about this model. First of all, there's absolutely no way that you can put the deck in. The way the bulkheads are formed, so when they have the instruction sheet and they show the bottom deck on the inside, there is no way possible to get this deck inside. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut it because we have to. Um, I see lines here. I don't think it was to cut it that way because it's too wide. So what we have to do is we have to strip it or cut it the long way. So we're going to cut. I'm not going to go right in the middle because I want the holes to be lined up and to be perfect. So when we put the things on like the, uh, the cargo hatches and the masks go in. So we're going to go slightly to the side and we're going to cut this down. So that's one of the problems that I figured out. So that's what we're going to do for the deck. So when it comes to the lighting, they have these slots that are in the bulkheads. And I don't know what they're for because they're actually, um, they don't have a purpose with the instructions. I was thinking maybe they did this, um, if you want to light the ship, you can. So I wanted to use the light, the LED tape. So you can see the strip right here. So I trimmed the sides down just enough to get it to fit into the, um, the slot. And it did, try to get it in. It did fit in the slot at first, but what I realized was that the slots, the slots are just not wide enough for this because there are structures that are on the LED tape and you're looking at about maybe an eighth of an inch or close to it. So we would be back in the same problem. I would have to go through and drill um, or widen all these slots. Okay, because it's so small, I didn't really want to do that. I don't want to do anything invasive to it because that would risk damaging it. Okay, then I'm thinking, well, we can take the LED tape and we can put it and put it on top and then put it under the deck. Okay, we can do that as well. Then I'm thinking, okay, we uh, again, we have the structures that are about one eighth of an inch high. So we'd have to go in and actually hollow out a channel the whole length of the ship to get the LED light strip in. And again, these tight places be okay over here, but once we started to get into the back, it would be tough. And then the, the decks wouldn't line up, and I want the decks to line up square against the frame. Okay, so then I'm thinking, well, maybe I just won't light the ship. And then part of me is thinking, well, come on, man, I love lighting all my models, and it would look fantastic lit up. So I said, no, no, we're going to light it. So when you look at the sides of the ship, there are the places that we're going to be lighting for the hull. You can see we're going to, the sides, obviously. And there are three decks. So one of the decks is on top. So that won't be lit per se because those are going to be the tops um, of the openings above the deck. There will be a structure over here that has more windows in the back. We'll light that, 
and then we have the two structures on the bottom that's going to be lit. Now we do, I think we're only going to do one row of planking on this. We're only going to plank it once. Um, but again, it's going to be two strips. And I'm thinking, well, the lighting strip, okay, we can't do the lighting strip. And then I'm thinking, well, all right, we're just going to have to bite the bullet. And I have a bunch of these, um, put the lighting strip piece aside. I had gotten a bunch of these a while ago. And these are five millimeter. And they're large um, LEDs. And I had gotten a good deal on a bunch of them. And I had them kind of sitting around in, uh, in my toolbox for a while. So I figured, you know what? We're going to go ahead and I am going to light it. You can see we're going to have... Um, we're going to have openings that are going to be just around here, all the way to the back, or just around here. So, unfortunately, we're going to do this the hard way. So, we're going to take the LEDs, and let me show you one that I've got right off the bat. These are brand new. And I used to use these a lot, but then I ended up lighting a lot of my model kits and plugging them in. So I ended up um, getting just the bulbs with the resistors on them. Um, they're a little more versatile. So anyway, here you can see the, the resistor is already inside of it. So we're going to separate and we're going to put this and we're going to glue them into place. Now what this will do is a couple of things. We're going to put the bulbs in and they're going to illuminate the sides. So also there are areas that are going to be underneath where the cargo hatches are. So I'm thinking we might modify this to have the light coming up through. See I wanted to use the um, the LEDs that flicker as well but I thought if I use those LEDs and we put all those in throughout the ship it would look like the ship was on fire <laughs> and that's not what I want I want the ship to appear lit and even with the kerosene lanterns or the oil lanterns that they would have had back then it's still the light would have been um, like a white light. It wouldn't have looked like a, like the place was on fire is my point. So we're going to put the LEDs in. So we've got to do it the hard way. So what I'm going to do is we're going to cut halfway and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do for the first one and then we're going to have to do for a real lot of them. So I'm going to cut them just like this. This will be the wire. We're going to string it along and we're going to connect all the wires. These are going to be glued in place right about in the center. That way there the light will go throughout the hull and because of the bulkheads we really have to put a light bulb in each one um, on both sides but you can see the light is going to filter up through the bottom and hopefully light up the um, the cargo hatches that are down on the bottom and we're going to do the same thing we're going to light the structure that's going to go here but we have to wait until we put the other decks on as well as the captain's quarters and the officers quarters that are going to be in the back over here we're going to light these as well and we'll just drill that won't be a big problem but we'll, we are going to light everything so that being said Let's see, all the way to the point of the bow, they've got one over here. So it'll be right about here, there's an opening. But the next window is probably start around here. So you know what? It, it won't be the end of the world if some of them aren't lit. Hopefully some of the light will filter through these little slots, but we're gonna start. So, we're going to hot glue the bulbs in place, and then we're going to wire everything, 
we're going to connect them together and then we're going to string them along on both sides and eventually we'll do the backs and the, the top but we're going to put the, the decks on first so what I want to do right now is we uh, want to think about getting the lights into the hull so let's do that once all the lights are glued in place then we'll connect them We're going to put the wires on one side and we'll put the, um, the bulbs on another. And we are going to plug this in, it'll be easier. We're going to put the plug into the base and we'll we're going to plug it in, so we will do that eventually. Yeah. Okay, I think what we got to do now, we can actually move the light tape because we're not going to be using that. But we are going to be using the glue gun. All right. Now I think I want to start, we're going to put the bulbs in, let's see, I think this one is, alright, we're going to put them in, let's see if this is, yep, glue's ready, so, Not easy to get in there, so we're gonna just kind of put a little bit down. All right, see how we're getting them in all the way down that way there. We're gonna be able to illuminate all of the portholes or the openings for the cannons. So we're gonna do each one. Again, I want them to be, I want them to be even. See how they're kind of even? And I'm hoping that the reflection of the light will bounce off in and maybe leak through some of these little slots because there's not a lot, but there are going to be um, a couple of cannon ports over here. Um, it looks like maybe at least one. Up here, like I said, it'll be no problem. We're gonna light these through the deck over there. And then we'll feed in through the, uh, the officer's quarters in the back. But I wanted to get the lights. So this is the starboard side. All right. So we got all the lights in. What we gotta do now is we gotta think about connecting them. So we're gonna start. Okay, so we got all the, um, the positive leads, and remember, they've all got to connect. If they don't connect, <laughs> then now we're going to work. But we come all the way to the back, and I had just put this through as an illustration. We're going to take this back out, because this is actually, um, that's going to connect to the rest of the negative leads. 
But what we gotta do now is I'm gonna run another positive. We'll take a long one now. We're gonna have a positive and a negative that's gonna be coming out the back, and I'll show you why uh, in a minute. Okay, so I want you guys to be able to see that all of these wires are separated by the bulkheads and we're going to be able to plank. They're out a little bit because what I want to be able to do is we've got to solder everything. And once everything is soldered, then we'll tuck the wires into the bulkheads down in the cargo holes. That way there, uh, they won't be in the way. But before we do that, I want to make sure that these all work. So that's why, for now, we have the leads coming out the back where the uh, officer's quarters are going to be. And we got a positive. So if we did everything right, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to shut off the bright light. So if we did everything right, as soon as we connect with the positive lead, we're going to have lights in the hull. And this is why you don't solder yet. All right, let's try that again. We did the jumpers and I'll explain to you what's going on. All right, let's turn off the light. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see now the lights. And we're gonna solder. Once we solder everything, and everything's got a really solid connection, then we can think about going ahead and we're gonna put the wires, kind of push them down into the cargo area so they won't be um, obstructing or blocking the light. All right, so I wanna, all the things that need to be soldered, all these connections, I wanna get them out and positioned so it'll be easier to solder them. So we're gonna put the light back on to help see. And now we're gonna put some flux. And what the flux is gonna do, it's actually gonna have the solder stick to the metal. Solder gun to the side, and I'll show you guys. We got it's not pretty, but it'll do the job. So now what I want to do is I want to connect everything up again and make sure it works. So we're going to connect the negative, and connect the positive. Where is it? There. So that's a good thing. Put the solder away. This is the, uh, the lighting of the hull and we did the port side. And this is pretty labor intensive. There's a lot of work to go into it. Let me shut the light. 
just like that. So that's going to be really nice. Like I said, nothing will be in the way. When we start to plank, all the wires are going to be down by the cargo bay or the cargo hold of the ship. And you can see we got all the bright LEDs. I think that looks pretty cool. So, my friends, in the next video, we're going to do the starboard side and we're going to do the crew quarters. But because it took so long, it took a lot longer than I thought, um, we only had time to light the port side of the ship this time. So my friends, thanks for watching, and thank you for the kind comments, and I'll talk to you guys really soon. Oh,